Now maybe it's just me, but it feels like Golden Kamui is getting more ridiculous as the series goes on, and I'm kind of loving it. Once again, I just love how I was able to manage this fairly large cast in a pretty equal way. Like, how we were focusing on all these characters, of course we got our core cast, but we're focusing on all these sides of the military and the Escape King plotline. There's a lot going on, but it still felt pretty solid just like last week's episode. With the absurdity, it honestly feels like they're trying to keep one-upping themselves from prior episodes or prior arcs, and for whatever reason, Golden Kami is finding this balance where they can naturally transition from this over-the-top absurdity to actually pretty serious conversations, and most series would absolutely fail with it, but if you've been sticking with Golden Kami this long, you sort of expect these things, so I'm sure most people watching enjoy this style of comedic shifts to the serious stuff. I love it so much. But the Escape King plotline is definitely my favorite part of this episode. I really do like how last week he's starting to feel guilty about lying to Sugimoto, and that was his original drive, like to get out there, maybe tell him how he was feeling. But ultimately, when push comes to shove, when he has the chance to escape, he goes back with the people escorting him because he doesn't want to get killed by Sugimoto, which I overall liked. Like, the idea of him just getting all these guns in his face, there's no way that he could escape out of this situation, and once he is locked away, it could take a month to get out. And because this is the man who's the only one capable of breaking into this prison, finding the man that they're looking for, they have to rescue them. Some people need the Escape King, and then others probably consider him a close friend. So it makes sense why they're trying to rescue him, but how they were kind of playing around with this rescue mission, I thought was overall pretty interesting, especially when Hijikata comes in with the katana, and you're like, okay, is he really going to try to fight all these men at once? No, he just cuts the bridge, and then they're all washing across this river. It was just really entertaining. I like how there's actually some strategy behind this rescue mission, but at the same time, it still had that Golden Kamui charm, like the idea of Hijikata giving him beans, which only in Golden Kamui can you have a prisoner buy candy. If this was any other series, I think that's the dumbest thing ever, but for whatever reason, Golden Kamui can make prisoner buying candy on his way to go to prison somehow makes sense in this world. Like, there was some absurdity to this rescue mission, but at the same time, it had some logical reasoning behind it. They found that balance once again, it was just a very entertaining mission, and then when everything's kind of finished, like, they're kind of deciding, like, okay, well at this point he has to be gone. There's no way we can get him, but Sugimoto wants to get him back, because, of course, at this point, Sugimoto probably considers the Escape King a friend, but he also needs him at the same time. But I am glad that Sugimoto actually finally realized that Hijikata is the man who was at the inn with him. I mean, Sugimoto isn't, like, an Einstein in this series, but I am glad that he finally pieced together what that means, and how Hijikata ultimately responds, like, there's no allies, there's no enemies here, we're all on the same page, who cares if the Escape King was double-crossing you this entire time, we have a mission, and just how so tense these scenes can be, because I've mentioned it last week, like, this is a group that at any point could shatter, you really can't trust anyone in this group, past Sugimoto, my honest opinion, he's the man that I can put faith into into this series, past that, everyone's doing their own thing, right now, they all have the same goal, get to this prison, figure out where the treasure is, but once they reach that moment, and maybe even before they reach that moment, things could explode, and be just so horrible to witness and that's what I love about this arc is that you have all these different minds all these different personalities more or less with the same objective but how long is that going to keep a group like this together that's really exciting especially now that the cat's out of the bag that the escape king was a double agent here how is that going to translate to the relationship between escape king and Sugimo? because I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of it that's really exciting and that's where the narrative of these characters is really shining right now with this season of golden kami because it's so different it's so refreshing from season one and I'm loving it because you got that classic season one charm but you got this new refined coat of paint being layered on this series and it's so amazing but like I mentioned the absurdity was over the top in this episode. The fact that Lieutenant Sturmy is this man who just loves war because war brings in money. Money to feed the gun corporations, the drug corporations. You have all these absurd moments, but at the same time, he's sort of trying to help one of his fallen because he lost his leg, so he brings in a guy to make him a gun leg, which only in Golden Kami, right? Only in Golden Kami, but I like how you have this character who can bounce around this so absurd and so stupid situations that are actually fun to listen to and watch 
but then it will go back to being serious because he is still trying to get the gold. And I just love the facial reactions. There's so many moments that you can pause and just be like, this is absolutely hilarious, but then they'll transition naturally and seamlessly into these just really serious, intense situations. And it's really the proper balance. Like season one had its missteps with trying to balance the comedic and serious, but I think season two really found a solid way to blend the two naturally and make it work. Not to mention some of the artwork in this episode, completely amazing. Some of the still shots they were doing were just so gorgeous to look at. I love how this episode functioned. I mentioned it last week, I felt like it found the proper balance, it found a way to balance all the characters' storylines, make them feel relevant, but also give you that classic season one charm. This week's episode did the same thing. The past couple episodes have been absolutely amazing, they're fun to watch, it hits all the notes that Gon Kamui is known for, the music, especially when Sugimoto was confronting Hijikata at the end of this episode, was amazing. It really added to that tense atmosphere and made you think like, is Sugimoto going to kill someone here? And if it wasn't for the kind of, hey, maybe we shouldn't kill everyone that we don't like conversation, he probably would have attacked Hijikata and then he would have drawn his sword and it would have been a bloodbath. So the fact that music is playing an important factor in these tense situations, the way the art and animation is bouncing that comedic and serious shift pretty seamlessly and the writing for the characters is actually benefiting it because it feels plot important but also has that slice of lifestyle charm to it all at the same time if it can keep up with this style of blending of the serious and comedic for the remainder of these episodes while keeping this large cast of characters feeling relevant to the plot but also giving each of them their time to shine this could easily be the best season of golden comedy between the two and i'm really excited to see where this is going to go from here but let me know whatever you thought what did you think of the comedic the serious stuff what did you think of the blending of the two overall let me know whatever you're feeling and be sure to like the video if you did enjoy and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me in the future but until next time everyone please Take care and have a good one.